Today's terrorists have a new way to get around the Bank Secrecy Act, cryptocurrency. Last year, an estimated $20 billion in illicit crypto transactions funded every kind of dangerous criminal. North Korea has funded at least half its missile program, including nuclear weapons, using the proceeds of crypto crime. And Israeli officials have confirmed that Hamas received millions of dollars through crypto transactions, including, quote, large sums from Iran. Mr. Diamond, you've been CEO of J.P. Morgan for almost two decades. Can you explain why crypto is such an attractive financial tool for terrorists, drug traffickers, and rogue nations? I've always been deeply opposed to crypto, Bitcoin, et cetera. You pointed out the only true use case for it is criminals, drug traffickers, anti-money laundering, tax avoidance, and that is a use case. Uh, because it is somewhat anonymous, not fully, and because you can move money instantaneously, and because it doesn't go through, as you mentioned, all these systems have been built up over many years, you know your customers, sanctions, OFAC, it's, they can get bypass all of that. I, if I was the government, I'd close it down.